No, ring, ring, my friend. You feeling summery? I saw you uh, did your interview earlier. You were you were getting into the theme of things. Tell me, was one of the desert players you would have brought onto your island, would it have been Sumail on that one position? Yeah, why not? I'm sure he would keep me alive and I keep him fed and happy. Um, I wouldn't mind changing that, although... Although I still think the upper body strength from Topias would never be a <laughs> would never be a waste in that situation. Oh yeah, yeah, he's gonna climb the trees, get the coconuts. Uh, on that's the topic, right, monkey player. That's right. <laughs> on the topic of Sumail, if you don't mind me asking, when did this finally come to fruition of you bringing him on to your carry role? Was it watching him on Liquid during the Animator, or was this in the works even earlier? No, I mean we we had uh, well. Anna had uh, kind of burned out, lost motivation to play. Um, you know, we gave it we gave it a try, and then when that didn't work, we of course started looking into the future. Uh, and everybody was very motivated to play. Everybody really wanted to find something that we were really hyped about, and stars aligned for for us. I would also say because we didn't think we'd have the chance to play with them. Um, with Sumail again, but also as in there are many players that uh, were, are in teams and were playing at the major and the timing was going to be really, really hard to figure out. Um, so we had it in mind, but nothing moved until, of course, after um, after the major. Is Sumail on a boot camp with you guys? He's right here next to me. Uh, me and Sumail are together and the rest of us are home, but we're hoping to get together all of us in about a week and a half. Two weeks, maybe. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about how the dynamic this time is it different than last time Sumail played on the team? Obviously, with TI approaching, I think motivations are probably a lot higher. Yeah, I mean, one thing is definitely motivation being high for Sumail, but for all of us, super, super high. Uh, probably the dynamic right now is also very healthy. We were, I, I would say, we have been dealing with disappointment and and kind of like underperforming and at least in our opinion uh but now our mindset is simply to treat things as a as a blessing even though we're we're not a ti yet and we we've had a rough season we are not out of it yet like as in we get to play we have an opportunity here to go to ti um i think everybody just appreciates that and is really grateful for that there's no there's not a lot of pressure on us um uh, we feel, everybody feels good, everybody just feels like playing the game and playing our best. Yeah, well, that's pretty apparent in the game because you look like you're playing, you know, stress-free. I was going to ask, not attending the Major, of course that didn't help getting to TI, but do you think that helped maybe the team kind of understand the game a little bit differently, maybe from the OG perspective, not being forced into kind of the tournament meta? I mean, we, we were watching all the games, so we were analyzing and, and also trying to figure out what we might have missed when we were trying to figure out the patch. I think we got a lot of the things right. Um, we were struggling with uh, some execution aspect and, and, and probably a lot of motivation, like I said, and some, yeah, just some uh, team stuff. But when we watched the major, it became very clear that, yeah, feeling part of it is obviously very, very important. I think LGD were playing extremely carefree. Enigma had their incredible run. I think all these things came from that. Uh, plus, then of course, we talk Dota. I think LGD broke down the meta very well. Um, the current meta, probably a few more things to, to look into hero-wise and, 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 and other stuff, but they played a lot of different strategies, a lot of different heroes, and, and looking at that, you can only only learn. Uh, I think we got we got as smart as we could from, from watching the game, so I think everybody feels feels quite good playing the patch right now, as in there's not a lot of, it's not a lot of confusion, but We'll see. Isn't <laughs> it's Wednesday today, right? So tomorrow we might be getting, we might be getting a patch. Who knows? Oh, that's true. Yeah, the patch surprise. Oof. Yeah, I don't even know if it's happening, but uh, I'm, I think everybody's assuming that one pretty decent sized uh, balance change will come now um, this week or maybe next. Would you like to see it before the qualifiers or after the qualifiers? Like, if you if you were able to choose. I mean, for the sake of like TI and everything, I think it would be nice if. You change it up now after the big tournament, and then you change change it up again after the next major. Probably not the biggest, baddest patches, you know, right before TI, but like balance changes after every big tournament, I think is is due. Um, yeah. Well, appreciate your time, No Tell. Really looking forward to your next opponent, VP. Uh, you got a chance to watch them at the major. Any expectations? Do you think that? You guys just have a good handle on Eastern Europe with how Gambit played here, or were Gambit just not showing up today? 
Always a good handle on Eastern Europe. No, uh, <laughs> VPR, of course, good. They're really good, especially online. I think they have a bit of um, land struggles, but online they're they're way, way better than um, like so many of the other teams. They've really proven that they're they're good at the game. They understand stuff. Uh, so I'm just hoping to see that VP today and and get some get some amazing Dota. Same here, and that will be the last series of the day, so enjoy your break, and we will return with you or someone else shortly thereafter. Congratulations yet again. Thank you, thank you. No-tail feeling uh, resurgence, of course. I don't think any time they've ever felt too much 